So today we're going to be talking about the academies and the pathway specifically at GISH. Um, last week we talked a little bit about the academies just in general, how they came to be, um, why, why they came to be, what the history was, and what some of the benefits were and the exciting parts of academies. Um, but today we're going to specifically talk about our academies here at, at GISH. Um, and I know we've just briefly covered them <clears throat> um, as we journaled about if you had to pick a pathway, which one would it be? I'm um, just kind of previewing uh, where we were going with things. Um, so today, my goal is to make sure that kind of two things. One, that you understand how all of this works, because most of you probably do not understand, well, how do you get into an academy and a pathway? What's the difference between academy and a pathway? Um, all that good stuff. So I want you to understand how it works. Uh, the second thing is, is that I want you to have a brief understanding of each pathway. There's 20 pathways. Um, just to kind of understand what each one is, we're going to end up throughout the next two months, <clears throat> we will review, or I'm sorry, research all the pathways, okay? And when I say we, I mean you, right? Um, so you will, you will learn something about all the pathways to make sure that you can make an educated decision when you pick your pathway in early December, okay? So get the screen up here and going. Okay, so on the screen here, you can see that we have our academy map here and it's also on the wall. Um, I'm going to explain this in a way that I feel like even elementary school students would understand. <clears throat> Not that you guys are elementary school students, but I wanna make sure that I don't assume that you know anything um that maybe you don't know and we get off to to a bad start here with you not understanding things okay so <clears throat> excuse me okay at gish every ninth grader that comes to gish is going to be part of the freshman academy here okay so it doesn't matter if you start uh on the first day of school or if you start in november or if you start in march every ninth grader that comes to GISH will be put in the Academy of Freshman Exploration, okay? And you're in that academy all year long. Um, you don't have a pathway when you are in the, in the Academy of Freshman Exploration. Instead, you have seminar class. So seminar class kind of takes the, the place of your pathway class, okay? Uh, and seminar is a year-long course as well, okay? So... Kind of the, the main goal of the freshman academy is to, one, teach you what it is to, to be a high school student, right? To get you ready um, to be a high school student, understand the guidelines for success, meeting, excuse me, all those expectations. Um, and then the, the second part is to, specifically in my class and seminar class, is to get you ready for the academies. We call them the upper academies, these five down here at the bottom. Um, to get you ready for the upper academies and to understand what is available to you um, and, and educate you in a way that you can make a good decision on which pathway you want to be in for the next three years. So when you leave the freshman academy, um, you will be in one of these 20 pathways. So the small boxes at the bottom, okay, all these that I'm pointing to here are pathways. You will be in one of those 20 pathways and you will stay in that pathway for the next three years. So if you are in the sports medicine and therapy pathway, that's your pathway and you belong to the Academy of Medical Sciences. Okay, so you have a pathway and then that means that you're also in the Academy of Medical Sciences. Okay. Um, so it is possible that let's say student A is in the manufacturing pathway here. So they're in the technical sciences academy and student B is in the automotive pathway. They're also in the academy of technical sciences. So they have two different pathways. They're learning about two different things, but they can still be in the same academy. Okay. Because the way the academies are grouped, 
is very similar to what the strength finders did with the domains. They took those 34 strengths and they put them into four different domains or groups, right? And those domains were all similar uh, in their strengths. Well, all these academies are all similar with the pathways that they have. So think of these just like the, the similar groupings, just like strength finders did. Okay, so we have five groupings or five domains of pathways, and they, those are our academies, okay? Um, over the next two months, like I said earlier, you're going to research each pathway, and I will show you later on exactly how we are going to do that. And we have a couple other things that we'll do um, during that time to, to make sure that you're learning about these as well. And then the process will look like in the first week of December is the plan right now that you will fill out a Google form and you will rank your top five pathways, one, two, three, four, five, um, with the, the goal that we are going to get as many kids into their number one pathway as possible. So you will choose a pathway, not an academy. Okay, you choose a pathway. All right. So, um, I'm going to go through and I'm going to just talk about each pathway here, um, 30 seconds or less, and just give you a brief overview of each one. Okay. So, we'll start with the education pathway here on the left in Education Law and Public Safety Academy. So, education pathway, uh, if you're going into that pathway, simply put, you're, you're learning, you want to learn to be a teacher, uh, maybe a principal, a paraeducator, so people that help the teachers, or a guidance counselor, okay? So like Ms. Farley or Mr. Willie, um, you see counseling and mental health down here, but a guidance counselor in schools actually falls under education, okay? Law and public safety, uh, there's kind of two different things you'd learn about there. It's still all the same pathway there. From the law side of things, um, you're looking at lawyer, a legal assistant, a paralegal, so anybody that helps the, the lawyer. Um, from the public safety side, you're looking at police officers, right? Law enforcement, uh, police officer, detective, criminal investigator, um, private investigator, um, parole and probation officer, <clears throat> anything like that. So anything to do with the court system or law, law enforcement, that's kind of, of what is going to fall into this pathway right here. And then counseling and mental health. <clears throat> so on this one here, um, you would be looking at like a um, social workers, uh, counseling, like if you had a clinic and you do family counseling or one-on-one -on -one counseling with people to talk about what they have going on in their life, um, psychologists, um, substance and abuse counselor. Um, the social worker piece could be a social worker at a, at like a high school, which we have two. We have Miss Ann Grieving Brown and Miss Allie Alexander um, that are our social workers, but there's also social workers that work for like uh, the Department of Health and Human Services and other, other entities as well, okay? So social workers would be a big one there. <clears throat> so those are the three pathways for Education Law and Public Safety Academy. All of your classes, no matter the academy here, for sophomore year will be at GISH, okay? So you won't have to do any traveling at GISH unless they change something. So if you're in any one of these pathways, doesn't matter, your, your classes will be at GISH your sophomore year. However, junior and senior year, that changes, okay? So Education Law and Public Safety Academy is housed at the Old Star on Wyandotte Road, okay? Uh, it's just off of South Locust down there. So that is the academy building for the Academy of Education, Law, and Public Safety. So your junior and senior year, that is where a good majority of your classes will be. Um, you may have like a two morning classes at the Wyandotte building, and then you come to Gish for the afternoon, okay? And then maybe the next day on the B day, you're there all day, okay? Uh, just kind of depends on your schedule and, and what your needs are. Uh, but you definitely will have classes down there for sure if you are in any one of those three pathways. Um, one of the questions that I got from students yesterday was, well, how do we get there if we don't have a car, if we don't know if we'll have a license? Great question. Uh, juniors, seniors have open lunch. They have 50 minutes for lunch. So if you're driving yourself, 
you get 50 minutes to eat and also get to where you need to be, okay? Go from the Wyandotte building to Gish or Gish to Wyandotte, okay? Otherwise, they do bus kids as well. There is a bus that goes back and forth, okay? All right, so that's education law and public safety. Moving on to the Green Academy here, uh, the Academy of Engineering and Technology. Uh, alternative energy. Um, this means that you, these people are looking for energy alternative to what we commonly use, which is fossil fuels, coal, uh, coal um, oil, gasoline, okay? Um, those things are fossil fuels. Those will eventually run out. So we're looking at like wind, water, um, solar, nuclear energy, things like that. We still as, as a society throughout the world have not figured out a good solution for alternative energy. So that is one that is kind of interesting because we're going to need it eventually. And right now we don't have a good solution. Okay. Uh, aviation flight, fly planes. You want to be a pilot? This is you right here. Uh, I told my classes yesterday a, a quick story is we rolled out these academies four years ago, okay? So the seniors uh, in the school right now were the first academy, uh, freshman academy, okay? The class uh, of the, the, that implemented the freshman academy. So one of my students in that class, it's a senior now, is Jake Gosha. And I saw him just a, about a week or two ago, and I talked to him about how his classes were going, and he's in the aviation flight pathway wants to be a pilot for the military and he's already got a lot of the certifications that he needs to fly planes he's already taken off and flown a plane now he has to have an instructor with him but he can fly planes right now he he knows how to fly a plane as a, as a 17 year old um, high school senior um, so that's a pretty unique opportunity when we talked about last week and there's a few other things i'm going to talk about here with it um, the opportunities that you're getting that you should feel thankful and grateful for and that not other kids get this, like you're flying planes in high school. Nobody does that, okay? So so aviation flight, and there's a, over um, at the building where this, is, this academy is housed, we'll talk about that in a minute, they also have a flight simulator so you learn how to fly a plane before you fly a plane, all right? Uh, aviation technician pathway, the third one there, uh, maybe you're a mechanic-minded uh, person. Maybe you like working on cars. You like tinkering with engines, uh, but you think it'd be cooler to instead work on airplanes. Uh, that's what this is. They have a model plane, and you will learn how to fix and build planes. Uh, the fourth one, engineering pathway. Uh, this is simply problem solving. People that are problem solvers, okay, that you take an issue or a problem um, or a new thing that maybe nobody can quite figure out exactly what the solution is and you figure out the best solution that, that's going to work um, in the short term and the long term. Um, so these are people that like solving problems, like having a challenge. And then the last one, information technology pathway or more commonly known as IT. Um, this has to do with computers. You like fixing computers, building computers, um, coding for apps, networking um, for like wireless networking all of that type of stuff would go into into IT, okay? Cybersecurity. So information, I'm sorry, um, the Academy of Engineering and Technology for your junior and senior year is housed at CPI, that's the Career Pathways Institute building. Uh, that's on Adams Street over just north of Barr, okay? So you will be at CPI your junior year for, junior and senior year for any of those five pathways in the Engineering and Technology Academy. Moving on to the Academy of Business and Communication, agribusiness pathway. Uh, it has to do with farming, okay? The, the production of food, whether that is farming crops or ranching um, cattle uh, or, or livestock, um, it's the production of food, but it also has to do with like the scientific side of agribusiness of people analyzing how can we how can we increase the yield or the, the amount of crops that we get out of a single um, seed corn, okay? So um, it, there is a scientific side to that as well. Entrepreneurship pathway has to do all with, um, you wanna be your own boss. You wanna have your own business, be your own boss. You wanna take a chance on yourself um, and, and have your own business venture. Finance and management 
has a lot to do with the banking, um, loan officer, um, helping people with their money, being a money manager or financial advisor. Um, uh, accountant is a big one. If you like numbers, there's always jobs for an accountant, uh, financial analyst for companies to see whether or not they're, they're spending their money wisely for the long term. Okay. And then multimedia pathway it has a lot to do with the production and the like implementation of uh, media. So great example of this and, and a kind of an exciting opportunity on this one is if you guys have seen the football scoreboard in action out there at our new stadium, um, it's a phenomenal scoreboard, one of the nicest scoreboards in the, in the state. Um, outside of the Huskers, it probably is the nicest or at least right up there on the top three. And our students in our multimedia pathway, those graphics and those videos that are being shown on that uh, scoreboard, they are creating those, but they're also running it on game night with their teacher. They're up in the press box actually running, um, running that uh, scoreboard and they're running the cameras for like the replay. Um, they're doing all that stuff. Okay, same with volleyball or like basketball in the gym. We have a video replay board on there with graphics and, and video. They're going to do all of that. So you get a lot of hands-on real life experience on how to do that job. Uh, business and communication. The academy is housed at GISH. So your junior, senior year, you will be at GISH. Uh, the Academy of Technical Sciences, architecture and design pathway. So architecture has to do with you are designing the house so it it will continue to stand or the building or the shed or whatever it is. So you, you are um, designing the way that basically the outside will look, where the walls go, and, and you're going to make it structurally a sound. So it's somebody that likes drawing, likes, de likes design, likes being creative, um, but also is very detail oriented and good with math. Um, so that is something that's a huge part of that as well. So architecture is the person that is developing, designing the building. Okay. Uh, the design part of that pathway is uh, the people that are d designing the inside. Okay. Making it look good. Um, the interior design piece of things, okay? Automotive uh, pathway obviously has to do with cars, mechanic, uh, fixing cars, building cars. Um, the one thing that I always add with this one though is automotives is not just anymore like a mechanic goes and they work their, their day and they come home just covered in oil and grease every day. That's still part of it, right? Automotives are still a mechanical uh, machine, but there's also a lot of computers in automotives now as well, right? Everything on a brand new vehicle, the engine's hooked up to a computer and your screen is, is computerized and, and all that good stuff. So if you're someone that likes IT, but you also like cars, that's a good way to maybe get both of them in one because you do have to know as you get further in and if you ever become a mechanic, there are people, there are a need to have people in that field that know about the computer side of things. Construction pathway. The architect designs, develops the house. Construction builds the house, builds the building, the shed, the whatever it is, the skyscraper, okay? So construction, you are, you are actually constructing the building. You're building it. Uh, your junior and senior year, in this pathway, you will actually build a real house, okay, uh, that somebody's going to live in. GIPS buys the the, the uh, lot of land. Uh, right now, they've been working out at Indian Head Golf Course out there, and they build one house a year. Uh, and actually, two years ago, the house that they built, uh, two of my best friends actually bought the house. And, and they're still living in it. So I've got to see the inside of that after it was all finished. And it is just amazing what high school kids, along obviously with the, the help of the teacher and everything, but it's amazing that high school kids could do what they did in that house. Um, it's one of the nicest houses I've ever seen on the inside. They did a really nice job, but you get to build a house. Um, I don't know where else um, offers you that to, to build a house and learn learn all of those um, trades that you need and learn how to do all of that, okay? Uh, manufacturing pathway. 
um, this is the mass production of things, okay? So this is uh, an assembly line, a factory, a manufacturing plant that is mass producing things. Um, a good example of that would be like Case New Holland here uh, in town. They, they uh, build like tractors and combines, okay? Um, that is a manufacturing plant for sure. There's many people just working on one part of that combine and it just goes through the process until it's completely built. Okay, so if you're someone that likes to be repetitive and you like just having a few things to do and knowing you're really good at it um, and you like to know what to expect from your day, like that might be a, a good option for you. Uh, and then, and it also, it's not just like um, combines. I mean, this could be clothing. This could be um, a number of things. All of the things that we use in life, the vast majority of them come from a manufacturing plant. Okay. And then welding, right? It's the, the fusion of, of two metals. It's the melting of two metals together. Um, the chair you're sitting in right now has welding on it. The desk that you're sitting at has welding. The door that, that, uh, that locks us into this classroom is, is welded. So um, there's so many things that are welded and there's so many opportunities for welding that if that's a, a job field that you want to learn about and, and uh, yeah you know, prepare yourself for a career in, the welding pathway is a great opportunity because there's always gonna be jobs in that job field. Um, and you, we have welding um, that, that you'll do quite a bit of welding, okay? Um, Academy of Technical Sciences is over at CPI as well, okay? So junior, senior year, you would be at CPI. All right, last one, Academy of Medical Sciences. We have three pathways here, healthcare pathway, is you're learning to become a doctor you're learning to become a nurse okay now when i say that it seems like well just the two things well yeah but there's a lot of different kinds of doctors and nurses there's and i'm not going to list them all we'll talk about those when we get there but there's many many different kinds of doctors and even more kinds of nurses um that you could be and plus pharmacist goes into this as well um, a dent dentist or dental hygienist would go into this, um, working in like a lab uh, would go into this. So there's many opportunities in healthcare. Uh, sports med and therapy, um, we're, we're talking about athletic trainers, um, anything to do with sports medicine in that, uh, in that uh, um, field. Uh, physical therapists, occupational therapists, chi uh, chiropractor, um, nutritionist, dietitian, anything like that. And then the last one is emergency services there. Um, we're talking about being an EMT, paramedic, uh, firefighter. If you're going in, if you want to go into the military, that's also included in the emergency services pathway. Okay. So those are all of our pathways. Uh, the medical sciences um, is currently housed at GISH. Um, but if any of you have heard um, it will not be for long um, because the top floor at CHI Fr St. Francis, um, CHI and GIPS have came to an agreement where we will house the Medical Sciences Academy at the hospital at CHI St. Francis. So you'll be taking your classes junior and senior year eventually. By the time you guys are juniors, I would imagine it's ready to go, but I can't promise that. Um, but eventually students are going to be taking their classes junior and senior year at the hospital learning things at the hospital being able to do job shadow opportunities right there at the hospital okay so phenomenal opportunity I, I can't even begin to tell you how lucky you would be if you're interested in getting into medicine that you'd have that opportunity okay um a couple of questions that i got that i just want to address really quick and then i'm going to show you how we research each of these pathways. Um, number one question I always get, if I don't like my pathway, can I change it? Uh, the short answer is no, okay? Um, and you'll see why here in a little bit that when you get into a pathway, um, your sophomore year, you take a certain class, then your junior year, you take a little bit harder class, your senior year, it's even, I wouldn't say harder, it's more specific, it's more detailed. Um, and so it kind of builds upon one another. If you're bouncing around pathways, we can't, it just, it doesn't work. That's not how it's designed to work. 
Uh, plus, we have 2,700 students. If we were allowing students to just change pathways all the time, um, that would be a scheduling nightmare and it just doesn't work out. So, you're going to stay in the pathway you choose, generally speaking. There are some special circumstances every now and then where the administrators will say, okay, let's go ahead and do this because of this. But for the most part, you're going to stay in the one you choose. However, what I will tell you is, I've been doing this class for three years now. This is my fourth year. In the three years that we've had students uh, pick their pathway, I have never, out of those 500 plus students, I have never had a student tell me, I don't know which one to choose. Like, I don't know enough about them. I don't feel that like I'm educated or that I'm ready to make this decision. I've never had a student do that. Um, I've had students that say, I, I can't really choose between like this one or this one. They're my number one and number two, and I don't know which one. That's a preference thing but I've never had a student that says that they weren't prepared to make the choice. So by December, I will promise you, you will be educated and, and ready to make that decision. Okay. Um, so we're going to make a, a good decision. I also got the question yesterday. What about our core classes like history, math, science, and English? Do we still take those? Yes. The state of Nebraska mandates that you have four years of history, math, science, and English. But the neat thing is, Let's say if you're in the healthcare pathway, okay, and this would this would apply to any of these. If you're in the healthcare pathway and you're taking a math class, well, the math teacher has certain concepts that they need to teach you, but maybe to teach you those concepts instead of just using random numbers, they use a dosage chart for for medication. So they can still teach you the concept, but they're teaching it with something that is applicable to what you are learning about in other classes and something you're interested in. The other neat thing is now when you take your history, math, science, and English, you're taking it with people in the same academy. So they're all interested in medicine. So you're taking classes with people that are like-minded. Um, they still have different strengths, but they're like-minded. Um, that'll be very similar to what you see in college if you go to college as well. Um, so that'll be a great opportunity for you. Um, had the question, what if I go through a pathway and I don't and I decide I don't want to do that in college? Perfect. Nobody is making you decide that if you go into finance and management for three years and decide I liked it, but I don't love it. I don't want to go to college for it. And I certainly don't want to do that the rest of my life. OK, that's fine. Do something else. Go to college for something else. Um, go into the military, go straight into the workforce, do whatever you're going to do. No one is making you do that. Um, the only thing I'll tell you is that one, you would have gained a lot of information that can help you out just in general in life. Um, and also you saved yourself probably about $50,000 of college tuition because usually it takes people two years before they figure out they want to change a major or they don't like it. Um, and so you, you saved yourself about $50,000 by not having to go through that in college to realize that you didn't like it, okay? You got to do that for free. So whether you like it or you don't like it or you like it but not as much as you thought you would, it's still a good thing. It's still a win-win, okay? Uh, and then the last question I got was, well, what advantages are there for like college? Like if I am in the uh, construction pathway and I go to college for construction, for college, not much. Um, you're still going to get into like the college um, that other kids are going to college for. You may get some some like uh, scholarship opportunities or something for the experience that you have. But what I will tell you is once you get out of college and you are applying for jobs, the the experience and the certifications that you may have are going to help you get a job over somebody else that doesn't have that experience. If you could say, I've already helped build two houses uh, in high school and I have this, this, and this certification, plus my college degree, that gives you a great chance to get a job over somebody else and to get a better job, okay? So definitely a, a win there, okay? All right, so. Now learning about how do we research these things every week, okay? Because we're gonna spend the next two months um, researching these. When we research a pathway, and I put on here, this is just an example slide. We're not doing this today. I'm just showing you how we will do it. So you don't need to do anything right now other than just watch still. Um, 
when we when we do this um, we're going to research uh, pathways so this one i'm just going to use education as the example pathway we'll spend about 25 30 minutes per pathway we don't need an entire day for pathways um, that would be too long okay so you'll see this screen and it says resources needed you need three different tabs open and i've already done that okay so it says canvas canvas virtual job shadow so i open canvas i open canvas and then virtual job shadow it says is in clever so i go to clever i apparently didn't log in so you log in Okay, and you go down to supplemental resources and virtual job shadows right there. You'll want to put the heart on it. That way it shows up in your favorite. So I'm going to open that up. I need virtual job shadow. And in virtual job shadow, it says I need the career central website. So I'm going to right here, go to careers and career central. And we're talking about education. So I'm just going to type education. <clears throat> it'll give me a whole bunch of different options um, some of them are more applicable and like a, apply to what we're doing than others um, kindergarten teacher librarian okay some of them aren't as good if I do teaching it might narrow it down a little bit more so I'll do that okay um, on canvas for my first tab it says I need my pathway description so we are working in module three now okay that's the academies so i'm going to go to module three and you can see i said we're doing education and it said we need the pathway description so i'm going to click that and open that up i'll explain more about this here in a moment then it also says we need the assignment pathway reflection okay well i go seminar module three and assignment pathway reflection so i'm going to open that up and i'm just going to preview it since i don't have it published yet okay we have everything that we need you are going to have 12 questions to answer about each pathway some of them are very short one word answers some of them i need you to write a little bit um but this is what it's going to look like it says quiz don't worry about that okay it's just a daily assignment um the resources you're going to use are pathway description form and virtual job shadow along with anything that we have in, in canvas that would help you otherwise okay so on the pathway description form i'm just going to go over each section of this really quick so high wage high skill high demand careers that means high wage means not necessarily our goal is to get you rich but that you can live a comfortable life you can support your family so high wage high skill means that you have skills that people want to hire you for and high demand means careers that are growing okay we don't want to go to college or, or even in high school learn about a career where the job is declining and there's going to be less jobs in four years from now than there is right now because that's pretty dangerous to get into okay so we want a high demand career so it has four listed here on some of these like on construction on law and public safety there may be 15 to 20 of them listed okay but this one it only has four your pathway classes so grade 10 11 and 12 i caught i talked a little bit about this earlier about how your um, sophomore year you'll take a class it's called foundations of and then whatever the pathway is and here's the description for it your 11th grade year you'll take principles of education here's your description grade 12 advanced education and then your description okay so those are the classes you're going to take dual enrollment means that you can get college credit so we don't have any of these on here yet we'd have to look to see if we can add any recommended electives your junior and senior year you can you get to choose some of the classes you take and maybe even a little bit in sophomore year so it's telling you the the classes that if you take these these would help you become a teacher or a guidance counselor okay um, student organization so you could join this organization and these are, are other kids that are also wanting to work in the education field. And then these are the careers that you could pursue based on what kind of degree you get. Okay. So we have that and we have virtual job shadow over here. So if I were to look at 
I want to be a school counselor, okay? I want to be the next Miss Farley or Mr. Willie. Okay, so we have that. So let's go to our assignment here. Question one says, name the top three high wage, high skill, high demand careers from this pathway that interest you the most. So, like I said, we only have four to choose from. You're going to choose the three that interest you the most and put them there. Most of the, the things have more than three or more than four. So, you'll have like 12 to choose from, okay? Pick the three that you sound, think sound most interesting. Are there any other careers or occupations that are in this uh, job field that would fit into this pathway that you're interested in? And if so, what are they? So maybe there's something that's not listed, but you're interested in it, okay? Um, who is someone that you know that is involved with the career in this pathway? Who are they and what's their job? So all of you know teachers, right? Um, some of the pathways, this will be this question will be a little more challenging than others, but for most of them, we should be able to do that. Uh, number four, what's the name of the grade, grade 10 pathway course? Well, I come over here, name of course, okay? and then the descriptions underneath of it. So for the next six questions, name of course. So this is the foundations of education. What are the two major points from the grade 10 course? So you're gonna read through this and tell me what are the two main things that you pulled out of that. Do the same for the grade 11 course, principles of, two major highlights, grade 12 course, advanced education, and whatever the highlights were okay so we're already through question nine question 10 if you could choose one occupation in this pathway to do an internship for what would it be so if we look back at our slideshow it says to thoroughly learn about the education pathway and careers that go with the pathway and it says research at least three careers so when we say research the careers well, i'm talking about on virtual job shadow so maybe school counselor and then high school principal and elementary teacher are the three that I research. Maybe I want to do more than that, okay? When I come over to Virtual Job Shadow and I research it, um, I'm watching these videos, okay? This is an overview video on what the job is like. There are Q&A videos, meaning question and answer. Um, what are some of the duties of a high school or a school counselor? What satisfies you the most about your job? Uh, and the school counselors answer these. Career description gives you an idea of what the duties of the job are, um, what your schedule would be like. Required education, um, what kind of college degrees and licenses do you need? And then some important qualities that help you be good at this job. Your earnings, how much can you make? It could be in Nebraska, you can choose other states, okay? Future outlook. Uh, meaning, is it growing or declining, right? We talked about we want it growing. So this one is growing 8% over the next 10 years. That's what it's projected to be till 2029. That's a good thing, okay? So you have lots of information here to review. So maybe this one for me is a school counselor, okay? And it's asking what would I want to do an internship for? An internship is an unpaid um, job shadow. So all of you have probably had a student teacher in your class before. Um, that's all this is, okay? It's an unpaid uh, internship. What would you, what is the internship? Or I'm sorry, why did you choose it and what would you wanna learn? And then on a scale of one to five, um, how interested are you in this? With one being not interested and five being very interested, then you'd submit the form, okay? So like I said, we will spend uh, about 25 30 minutes doing those each day that we do those and we will do that for all 20 pathways um, so it'll be kind of repetitive but it also will allow you to uh, make sure that you are getting the same information for every pathway and we'll we'll uh, enter in some like review games and things like that as well as we go through them thanks guys